Hey, what's going on everyone? So it's been a long, long time since we've done one of these, but we are unboxing a Soul Supremacy beater box. This is our new background. This is our couch. For you guys who have been OG followers, this is how we started the YouTube channel. So we thought, hey, might as well try and bring back some videos since we're still members. So. Hey, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys are interested in anything that we unbox today, you can go ahead and check us out at holygroundshop.com or check us out on Instagram at holygroundshop. Uh, but today we do have a beater box that is $1,200. I think after shipping and tax, it came out to around $1,350. If you guys have watched some of our vlogs, we've unboxed some of these in those vlogs, but we wanted to do a separate one just for old time's sake. So if you guys are new to the channel, we're gonna put uh, prices somewhere around here, I guess, and we're going to kind of break down the value, see what our profit margins are, see if it's worth it. Might as well go ahead and get into it, right? All right. So, out of the jump, uh, I don't really see any no box pairs, but we do have a couple, uh, one shoe that does not have a box lid these are the Jordan 4 lasers, and I think they're brand new. Uh, they're marked B grade. It's a size 7 youth. Now, at least they're brand new. They are marked B grade. Usually B grade means that there's something wrong with the shoe, like a minor flaw. Sometimes they're bigger flaws, but usually it's a minor flaw, and then they'll sell them at the outlet. So it does look like this was an outlet pair. It's a size 7 youth. I don't think there's really too much value in these. It's not like the hottest shoe, but hey, Jordan 4s right now, they're doing pretty well. So I'm sure this would be a good mover on eBay. We might be able to sell it in the store, but we'll see. Because we are called Sneak Peek, uh, that the whole basis of the channel was because I would give you guys some, oh, it's a big one, a sneak peek <laughs> with our uh, little uh, clickbait photo session right there. But uh, as we move forward, there's actually one more box. Oh man, another pair of fours, also in a size seven youth. And these are also marked as a B grade. So uh, also brand new. So we do have two pairs. That's so lame. It's pretty lame, but hey, brand new pairs. It is what it is sometimes, all right? Uh, now we do have a Jordan box. It says a Jordan one mid, size eight and a half women's. Huh. I don't know what these are called, but it's actually not too bad of a colorway. It's got this blue, interesting swoosh right here, uh, kind of almost like a sailish midsole. It's not perfectly white and then different types of textures that kind of go around the whole shoe. Yeah, it's not a bad shoe. They're brand new size. Like I said, eight and a half women's. I'm sure these probably don't fetch too, too crazy, but it's probably a solid like 150 right around there. But as we move forward, we're getting into some men's pairs. This is a Jordan 13, size nine and a half. And we do have a pair of Lucky Greens. So Lucky Greens, these are used, but we usually get these in store. We usually sell them for about anywhere from like 140 to 160, depending on condition. Now this one, it seems to be in pretty good use condition. There's nothing, nothing really wrong with this one, just some dirty bottoms, but other than that, I don't see why these wouldn't sell for 160. There's just a little bit of dirt, but it's all good. Now we have this red Jordan box. It is a woman's Air Jordan 1 high zip. It says AWOC. I don't know what AWOC is. I don't think I've seen this pair before. Interest. Oh, it's one of these. So this is a woman's shoe. It's supposed to be like more quality. Honestly, like the leather quality feels super, super nice on this pair. All red with a clear bottom. Oh, they look to be worn like once. And uh, they say Vogue on them. So I'm guessing it's a collab. And even when you unzip it, it kind of pops out and flares a little bit for you. I don't know too much about the shoe. It does come with some really nice dust bags. Don't really know the value of it, especially when it's used. So we'll see how that does. So as we continue and move forward, we do have a Jordan 5 in a size 10 and we do have a pair of the Bel Air 5s. Now, this shoe doesn't do too, too crazy. Um, most of these use retros. Like I said, we normally price them around 160 in our store. So uh, these just need a little bit of a cleanup, but nothing that, you know, just a quick little wipe down couldn't fix. They do come with the 
extra laces and the lo lace locks but yeah around like 140 to 160 on these guys also it's not the most hyped up pair of shoes but you know, I know some people still look for cheap retros and we try and throw some good deals. This is a Women's Air Force One, size eight. Oh, nice. We have just a plain, simple, classic, very, like it was worn, it looked like it was worn once. I feel like even if we cleaned it, it kind of looks like it was tried on at a Foot Locker. Like that's what it looks like. It's super clean, nothing really wrong. We could probably clean this up and just count it as brand new. You know, these retail for about 90 for a hundred bucks. But, you know, supposedly the hard part about this is that it's really hard to find Air Forces in stock at stores. So, you know, a lot of resale shops have been selling these for about, I heard anywhere from 150 to 200. Um, to me, that's a lot for a shoe that, you know, if you're patient enough and kind of time things well, you could get it for retail. I'm, I'm probably gonna sell this for right around retail. Let's see here, two boxes left. I'm gonna go with the or the older Jordan box. It says Jordan. It's supposed to be four retro, but they kind of blocked it out. So I don't know. Maybe it's a rep box. It is a rep box. So we do have a pair of Jordan 13s. I think this is the bread colorway or playoff colorway. I forget. This is from 2010. They're honestly in pretty good shape. Not too bad. I know some of these older Jordan 13s. They do some numbers. Like even in used condition, I know that we can get probably somewhere in the 200 range for this guy. So that's not too bad to add onto the list. We like, we like the used retros here. Used retros do really, really well for our shop. So these, the Bel Air 5s, uh, the Lucky Green 13s, those are probably gonna do really well. And we got one last box right here. I'm guessing it's a Jordan 11, could be a Jordan 9. Uh, Jordan 11, size seven though, it's really tough size. And we do have, we do have a pair of Concord 11s. Now these are lightly used. They're in really, really good shape. Normally with 11s, what I like to check out about them is if they have scuffs, they have scratches anywhere. Uh, for the most part, this pair just looks to be a little dusty. Um, but other than that, they're in really good shape. Probably just needs a quick wipe down and it'll be good to go. Concords have definitely gone up in price. We usually sell our bigger sizes in use condition, anywhere from like 330 to 380, depending on size and condition. So I'm guessing this one probably be one that fits around that same value. That's it for the box. Uh, you know, let's tally everything up and see what we get out of the box. So if you guys see somewhere over here, it will tell you the total market value from this box. And then we're gonna have to subtract what we cost from this box, which was around 13 something, and which leaves us with the total profit of bam, something like that, right? <laughs> so that's gonna be our estimated profits. Of course, you have to take into consideration, you know, like if you're selling on GOAT or StockX for some of the brand new pairs, like they take fees and all that stuff. So, um, you know, and plus if you're shipping and doing all that stuff, there's some costs that go into that. So it's always a plus and minus with this kind of thing. Sometimes you get more money for some pairs, but overall the box was not, too bad if i had to rate it i don't know what the profit margin is so i'll kind of put my grade for the profit margin but for the rest of it like movability i will say like it's not like the best like for us used retros pricing them in a good good price like they do move pretty fast for us but like the vogue ones these b grade fours um the mids like that stuff i know is going to sit for a little bit so that's kind of a bummer but also i don't feel like we have anything that's going to sit for like forever and it's impossible to move sometimes you get beater boxes and it's like that so uh i would probably rate this at maybe like a c plus like it's not too bad but not the best overall like size range and condition i would say like most of these were in good shape i don't think there's really any beaters so that's a really good one and also size range it was pretty it was a variety of it so it's not too bad it is what it is so hopefully we can make some good profit like i said if you guys are interested in purchasing any of this stuff you guys can go ahead and check it out at our website www.holygroundshop.com so make sure to follow us on instagram we post everything every single night if you guys like this kind of content, leave a comment down below. Let us know how you liked it. If this was a good box, a bad box, if we should continue to do these beater box unboxings for you guys. Uh, with all that said, make sure to check out some of our vlogs and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.